Anemone coronaria, agroplants.org, also known as poppy anemone. This herbaceous gophyte uh, also uh, grows as perennial disease. It's ornamental plant uh, for the flowers, for the beautiful flowers. Uh, it can use for uh, cut flowers, can grow in a variety of climate, uh, Mediterranean, desert, subtropic or temperate climate. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps for this channel to grow. So, let's start from some information. So, hardiness zone will be uh, from 6 to 11, and with the right care, uh, can be even 12A. Also, possible, uh, uh, if you take the the girl fit outside of the soil to grow it in hardening zone of 2 to 6. Uh, okay, so the leaves are lobed, pine, uh, pinet or bee pinet, not very special. The color of the flowers can be in a variety of colors. It can be red, white, purple, bordeaux, pink, blue, and can be more than one color. The inner part uh, of the petal can be darker or lighter, uh, especially in the red cultivars. Uh, flower colors also affect by the soil acidity and the soil compound. A uh, different compound affect on the colors of the flowers. Uh, the flowers have uh, usually six petals. And um, one thing that I would like to to share with you: uh, the red cultivar uh, is more. Uh, you can grow it in the desert and in more hotter area. And this is something that you should be aware of, that uh, they are more tolerant for the heat. Uh, the other colors are less. This is a nice research that I read over the net. Uh, okay, so some requirement on how to grow it. So dry summer, it's important. If it will be wet, it might uh, cause a, a rot for the tuberous. They will get rotten. Uh, prefer loamy soil and well-drained, really well-drained soil. Uh, you can start to grow it by plant seed or tuberous. Uh, if you gonna plant it uh, better uh, in cool area, soak it 24 hours in water at least. And if you want to, if you have a uh, tuberous that you can think that you can divide, so you should uh, see there is a, a little bit tip in the point and then you can see that it's actually uh, two tubers are connected together so this is effect on the plant uh, on the dividing you can start to grow by seeds but it's a little bit harder I will try to explain it in the end explain in the end how to grow from seeds uh, planting season will be from the spring to the summer in hardiness zone from 6 to 10 a and autumn to winter in hardiness zone of 10 B to 11 a hardiness zone of 2 uh, to 6 also possible but be aware don't forget to take the bulb out uh, it's important because they will die uh, over the winter and the uh, opposite for hardiness zone of 12 need to take in the winter in order to get some uh, in the summer to get some cold and then it will uh, can start to grow it actually Pruning will be mostly in the end of the summer, uh, even in the autumn, in a colder area in the autumn. Uh, you need to prune, actually it's just uh, went to dormant, just prune everything and leave the tuberous. The size of the plant depends on the cultivar of course, it can be from 10 to 50 centimeters, so it's been 4 to 20 inches. In the right condition it will be medium growing plant, it requires small amount of water to average amount of water, uh, grow better in more water. Uh, but uh, remember that in the summer better without water. Light condition can be from full sun to half shade. And you can grow it also in container. Don't forget one thing about growing in container. Uh, to use, uh, better to use a fresh potted mix every year and good drainage. It's really important. Uh, blooming season will be from the end of the winter to the early spring. And if you want to grow it by seeds, uh, okay, so better to start uh, temperatures that will be like 10 Celsius, it's been 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, keep the seeds in a cool and dry location. 
uh, sowing season will be uh, the same as planting from the spring to the summer in hardiness zone of uh, 6 to 10a and uh, autumn to winter uh, 10b to 11 again it depends on temperature better in 10, uh, 10 degrees celsius 50 fahrenheit uh, planting uh, spacing will be from 20 on 30 centimeters so it's been 8 on 12 inches uh, so it uh, deep uh, like 0.5 to 1 centimeter so it's been 0.25 to 0.5 inch uh, condition so as I said cool a little bit uh, lightly humidity need uh, some humidity well drained soil and moist soil uh, water it regularly don't let it uh, dry and it usually it's take uh, like uh, one to uh, let's say two weeks it uh, can take a little bit more and even uh, much more like one month and even more uh, better to in order to have uh, to grow it better that the temperature will be under 20 celsius uh, it's important because if not might cause uh, some issue uh, for example uh, burning marks and uh, an other problem of growth it's been uh, 68 uh, Fahrenheit except this uh, be aware that uh, you need to bury the seeds before like mean uh, keep them in cold at least one to four weeks under uh, 10 uh, degrees Celsius it's been uh, 50 Fahrenheit I don't mean don't, better not to freeze them but let's say between five degree or something like this uh, for four weeks will be very good for this uh, plant it's been 45 41 Fahrenheit and except this it's easy to grow uh, better to grow it from to start from tuberous or just to buy a plant and uh, then you can also know the colors that you will have uh, it's not very hard to grow and there isn't a special requirement in order to grow uh, except this it's beautiful and it's bloom very beautiful flowers uh, not really long season but uh, very beautiful if you have some space uh, you can make a mix of colors that uh, make it like a colorful uh, fields and this is beautiful that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again